Hey gang, these are the three certifications that you got to get in 2023. Hey gang, it's Ron from ITMLSQ.com and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. As always, thank you so much for the students that have joined the Zero to IT Hero program and thank you for all the future students that's going to join the Zero to IT Hero program. Hey gang, I'm going to get straight to the point just in case you ain't got no time. You need to get A+, Net+, and Security+. If you still got some time, I would love to explain to you why you need these three certs. So first things first, whenever you are starting a new journey, whenever you're doing a new endeavor, you need to do your due diligence. You need to do your research, right? A lot of people are just doing things aimlessly. They have no idea why they're studying for a certain certification. They have no idea why they're in a coding boot camp. They have no idea why they're studying for Security Plus. They have no idea what they do after, right? So. The students in the Zero to IT Hero program, they have a clear cut reason why they're getting these certifications because we explain it to them. It's abundantly clear why they get these certifications. So the training and the certifications that are in our program, you can look on Indeed, you can look on Monster, you can look on Glassdoor, you can look on USA Jobs. All these are job uh, posting forms and websites and type in A+, type in Net+, type in Security+, plus, and, and the proof is in the pudding. You can see the amount of jobs, you can see the salary, so on and so forth. There's so many people still going to college just to go, to appease their family, to make themselves feel good you know, spending 40, 50 grand, 100 grand, you know, on things and have no idea. And let's not even talk about the non-tech shit, right? Because to me, if you're going to college, anything non-tech now in 2023, not a good idea. If you're not doing tech engineering or trying to become a doctor or a lawyer or some shit like that, you shouldn't be in college. It costs way too much money. But not even to talk about that. There's a bunch of people, like I said in um, a podcast, that um, we dropped not too long ago. There's so many people getting scammed by these boot camps and by these um, training programs. There's so many people that have come to me afterwards, you know, because, um, you know, I'm not as big as a lot of these other schools and stuff like that. You know, Zero to IT Euro program isn't as big as some of these other things, which is unfortunate. Um, hopefully you guys can help that, you know, by sharing and liking this video. But people come to me and say that they spent 30 grand on a uh, boot camp or on training that pretty much just pushed them through. Oh, you'll be all right. Go, go, go. You'll be all right. Go, go, go. It's like you spent 30 grand, then get no certs and no job. Yeah, I'll be upset, too. Um, and a lot of the people that I'm seeing that happening to is veterans. Right. You know, me as a veteran myself, I can't say that I that that's happened to me because if I spend 30 grand on something, I'm going to get all the search, all the training and shit, three or four jobs. Um, you know, but everybody uh, isn't built um, like me. So a lot of them, I think also they just join it and what the OK, I'll get a plus and then I, OK. Uh, then when they actually start taking the certs, they were failing them. When they actually saw that the instructors, two things, saw the instructors, one, didn't give a damn, and two, didn't know what the hell they was talking about. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? That's rough, right? Imagine having somebody that's dumb as hell and don't give a damn. It's no good, right? So you have to ensure that you have a roadmap. If you don't have a roadmap, if you don't know where to start, you do need to join something. I'm not saying that all boot camps are scams. There are some boot camps out there that are really good. There are some training programs that are really good, but there's a very big sector and portion of training that's like, it's not just saying it, like they're literally scamming people. If I give you all this money and I don't get anything, that's gotta be a scam. Like where the hell does that work at, right? And these schools are, that's another thing, you know, people, is it accredited? Is it nationally recognized? Yes, yeah, all that. And they still scamming your ass, right? Now, if you don't want to get scammed, of course, you can head over to itmagicky.com and enroll into the Zero to IT Euro program where students are getting literally all the skills they need and these three certifications that I mentioned at the top of the video. Now, our students actually get way more training than just these three certs. But since we just focus on these three certs, let's just talk about that. So A plus is a certification that covers a bunch of stuff, like a lot of stuff. Like if you name it in IT, most likely it's going to be on the A+. Now, of course, they have different focuses, right? Because it's only a 90 question test and you have to take two 90 question tests to pass the A+. 
but the A plus is the first certification that can lead you to employment. It's the first certification that's going to give you that foot in the door of IT. That's another thing. You have to kind of take a step back. Why am I doing this? What is my end goal? Right? If you're if you really think that you're going to get a couple of certs and be making $150,000 a year in fucking, you know what I'm saying, a couple of weeks, it doesn't work like that. But what I will say is this, if you continue to educate yourself, if you continue to get experience, if you continue to do what you need to do, $100,000 is going to be nothing, nothing. And IT, that is nothing, right? When the average American is making less than 50 grand, right? What if with two, three, four kids and a wife, you got, you only making 50,000. When you could have just took your ass to get some training and got certified and been making money, right? On average, on average, entry level people are making 50 to 75,000. Is everybody making that? No, but people with these damn certs are. And like I said, you got the opportunity to make six figures. A lot of times people that are making 50 to 75, we talking about this entry level and a lot of other industries, that's the top of the line. These people have been working for 10, 15, 20 years, making 70 grand. They gave these motherfucking people 20 years of their life and only making $75,000. They gave somebody five, 10 years of their life and they're making 60 to 65 and they're under the illusion that they're making good money. You barely surviving. You living check to check. Hello? You know how many people I talk to that make good money and say so they got less than $1,000 to invest into their education? Something's wrong. If you, ain't, if you got less than $1,000 and you're making good money, you're not making good money. Even if you was making $200,000, $300,000 a year or $150,000 a year, if you live in check to check, something is wrong. But the likelihood of you living check to check is way fucking higher if you're making 50 or less a year. And guess what? You're making 50,000. Nine times in 10, your pay isn't going up. Guess what is going up? Every damn thing. Everything. Just to be alive is getting expensive, right? So A plus, uh, back to, I got, got excited. Make sure that y'all like this video. Make the, uh, like this video um, and subscribe. Oh, really quickly, I always like to thank the new channel members. Um, hopefully you guys are um, enjoying the, the new videos and uh, the one-on-ones we've been having. I'm um, in a little private lives we've been having. We've been having a good time in here. Anyway, the next up is Network Plus. Um, that's what uh, my guys and my girls do. Networking is pivotal. You have to have a profound understanding of networking, right? You have to. How does the internet work? How do you set up a network? How do you secure a network? How do you optimize a network? How do you make sure that the network is up? How do you ensure that people have access to things when they want and need them, right? A lot of times that's the point to where students kind of figure out, do they want to be a network engineer? Do they want to be a network analyst? And even if they don't want to be, at least they have that skill set in their tool belt, right? Now, once they get finished with Network Plus, they hop into Security Plus. Our students are getting three of the most powerful certifications, three of the certifications that can literally change your life in 90 days, right? In 90 days, in the middle of a recession, <laughs> uh, when everything is uncertain, these students are still winning because even though things were scary, it was gloomy, they invested in themselves. Let me talk about me, right? Let's not talk about my students. I can't think of one time that I invested in myself and it didn't pay off. Not once, not one time. Now, the investment is just the first step, right? Because even whether you're in the zero to IT year program or another program, you still got to do this shit. You still got to study. It's not going to be easy. You still going to have to sacrifice. Netflix, Game of Thrones, Snowfall. What's some other shit people watch? Love and Hip Hop, ESPN, Dance with the Stars, SpongeBob, King of the Hill. I'm just naming shit now. Whatever you do in your free time, right? You have to get certified. Merch is in the description. You can get that coffee cup too if you want it, you know, if you just want to support or if you just got certified. You know, all my students, they get one of these and a whole little love basket. Love basket? What, what is it called? Like a bundle of stuff, you know, when they get certified. But the most important thing is to get the damn piece of paper. So those are the three searches you need and those are the reasons why. And Security Plus is important just because of the cybersecurity aspect. With what's going on right now, people getting laid off, people who are underemployed, meaning that they got a job, but they don't have enough, they're not making enough money. This may be you, they may not be making enough money to make ends meet, to be paying all their bills. You know, they on the phone with people trying to come up with different payment plans for necessities, for lights, gas, air conditioning, 
car payments, right? Um, and if you're in that position, right, you need to figure out something. Whether it's whether you got to take out a fucking loan, whether you got to use a credit card, you need to join something. Like I said, if, you, if you're not feeling what's over here, no big deal. But you need to do something, right? You have no problem, you know, buying bullshit on a credit card. No problem at all. Big ass TVs and PS5s and all this other goofy stuff. A PS5 is not going to make you no money. And some may say, well, you know, it's people on Twitch making money. It's people that play video games. You ain't making no damn money. How, how much money did you make? Okay, then. So just make sure that if it's not something that's educating you, if it's not something that's paying dividends, if it's not something that's going to provide for you and your family, you do not need to be entertaining yourself right now. You've been entertained for years. Educate yourself this year, man. Is that, is that too much to ask? Anyway, hopefully this was beneficial. A plus, net plus, security plus. My guys and girls getting it in 90 days. It may take you 900 days or it may take you um, forever because you may just watch this video and then, you know, not do anything, which is what most people do. But hopefully to the two of you that's going to execute, I'll see you in class. <laughs>